How's it going? Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Brightway Breakaway Switch Kit with ICU. Now what the Breakaway Switch is going to do, say in the event of a disconnect and your trailer becomes separated from your vehicle, this pin is going to get pulled and that's actually going to apply the brakes on the trailer, bringing it to a stop. Now that is really convenient because it is required to have in most states. So with this kit, not only can you be more safe, but legal. Now there's gonna be a couple of things that really separate this kit from many of the others. And one of them is going to be the fact that it has ICU. So what that means is say you're going down the road and you have a catastrophic disconnect, or let's just say if your seven way plug is loose and just comes disconnected from the truck, what's going to happen is all of the lights on your trailer are going to light up and flash. And that's gonna let other motorists know to approach with caution. So just to give you an example, our charger here is going to simulate your vehicle. Now right now our seven way is completely plugged in, so everything is okay. But if we were to disconnect this, our alarm is going to flash on the box and all the lights on the trailer are going to be doing the same thing. Now those lights are gonna keep flashing until you pull over, come up to the box here, push the alarm button, turn it off, and then you can go ahead and plug it back into your vehicle. Another thing that really separates this one from many of the others is that it's actually going to have a built-in battery charger for the battery inside of our box here. And it's also going to have some indicators that will let us know what's going on. So whenever we plug into our vehicle and some power back here, if the battery needs to be charged, the charging light is going to illuminate. That's going to kind of help us keep an eye on things. Or for example, say if we turn our power off, be back up to our trailer, we're just kind of curious on what's going on, we can hit this test button, and that's gonna let us know where our battery life is. Now this is going to be a great option for those single and double axle trailers, because it's going to put out a minimum of 12 and a half volts, and that's gonna keep you DOT compliant. For anything bigger than that, like triple axle trailers, or anything that requires a little more power, there's other options available that in my opinion work a little bit better and you can find those here at eTrailer.com. Now I did find a couple of things that I want to point out and for you to keep in mind whenever you're setting this up. Now whenever you're running the power that comes into the box here that's designed to charge a battery inside, you want to make sure to isolate that just from the power coming from our truck seven way. There's a couple of reasons for that. There's a regulator inside of here that's designed to only work with that truck power. Now, if you were to hook it to an alternative power source, say you have an additional battery here on the front of your trailer that you run some other accessories off of, if you hooked power to that, what would happen is this would more or less constantly charge at a rate that it's not designed to handle and damage could occur. So it's something you really wanna pay attention to when you're hooking all this up. And a quick way to tell if you did accidentally hook it up to an alternative power source, is that even when we were disconnected from our truck, the charging light would always be on. The other thing I want to mention is that you do not want to pull out your breakaway switch whenever you have your seven way connected to the truck. Now that can happen because some people just have everything hooked up. They want to test the breakaway switch, but what happens is the breakaway switch, whenever it's pulled, it's going to send power everywhere and some of that power can actually backfeed up into your truck and potentially damage your brake controller inside. And we've also found that some people actually pull their breakaway switch pin, say whenever they're parking their trailer for a period of time, almost as a security measure, since when this is pulled, it does lock those brakes up. Now it is a clever thought, but whenever we pull that out for that amount of time, those brakes aren't designed to be applied for that long and you'll end up damaging them. So more or less, apart from pulling this out briefly to test it after it's installed, this should never be removed unless you accidentally disconnect. But other than that, it's going to be really well built. It feels like it'll last a long time. It's gonna be really easy to use with all of our indicators and buttons here. This is something you're not gonna to have to put a whole lot of thought into. Now some people can feel a little intimidated by wiring and that is understandable, but with this there is only a handful of wires and it is relatively straightforward and shouldn't take you a whole lot of time to hook up yourself. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and wire it up together now. 
begin your installation, you're first going to want to identify which wire does what, because not all trailers are going to be wired up the same. So you're going to want to hook your seven way into your truck or a tester, run through all the functions, test your wiring, and write all those down on a pad of paper. Once you figure it out what does what, then we can go ahead and mount our breakaway switch. That way we can start running your wires. Now this is just secured the frame of our trailer using a self-tapping screw. The blue wire from the breakaway switch we're going to leave on the outside of the trailer because we're going to be mounting our main box on the outside. However, our junction box will be mounted down here along the bottom side of our trailer frame. So I'm going to take our black wire and run this through this opening. That way we can get it all connected. So the black wire coming from our breakaway switch is going to get connected to our trailer brake wire, which in our case happens to be this post right here. So what I'm going to do is strip back a little more of this insulation on our wiring. And then I'm going to put on a ring terminal. So I'll kind of double that over. Grab our ring terminal, slide that over, and get it crimped down. So then what we can do is take off our nut here that's holding down to the post. We'll kind of feed that wiring into our junction box. Connect our ring terminal. And we'll just go ahead and resecure it. Now, what I went ahead and did is grabbed our box and crimped on ring terminals to all the wires other than the blue one, which will get connected to our breakaway switch. Now keep in mind, it's not really about the colors of each wire, but more about the functionality of them. We're gonna hook up our three wires here to the appropriate post in our junction box. We're gonna have a ground, a battery charge line or truck power, and a marker light wire. So I'll hook these up the same way that we did the other one by just taking our nuts off, putting the ring terminal over the post, and tightening everything back down. Now since we're done hooking up everything in our junction box, I went ahead and just put the cover on it and secured it down to our trailer. Now before we mount our actual box here, what we're going to do is connect the two wires coming out of it, one from the box one from the breakaway switch and connect those two together and to do that i'm going to use a heat shrink butt connector and slide that over one end crimp it down the other end of the wire goes into the other side crimp it down then I'm going to take a heat source, put some heat on it to seal up the heat shrink here on the ends. And this is what it's going to look like once we have our heat shrink all sealed up. All right, now you would want to mount your box. Now what we're doing is mounting it to our aluminum toolbox that we have here on the front of the trailer. That way it's easy to get to. So I'm just going to make a small pilot hole, get everything lined up, and then secure it using some nuts and bolts. Now we want to test everything out and make sure it's working properly. So before we plug our seven way into our truck, we're going to test our breakaway switch. So I'm going to spin our wheel and have a friend up front pull that switch to make sure our wheel stops. Alrighty. That stopped on a dime and we know our switch is working properly. Now we can test our ICU function. And to do that, you can either plug it into your truck or like we are today into a tester. Now the ICU function is going to work whenever we're sending power back through our box and our seven way plug becomes disconnected. So I go ahead and pull our seven way plug out. Our alarm should flash here as well as all of our lights on our trailer. 
And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Brightway breakaway switch kit with ICU.